Uh, yeah, it was a close game. That's about what it was. Um, that pretty <coughs> Fiji. They, uh, they were able to sort of put a bit of pressure on us, and uh, you know, I think we probably created a, a fair bit of pressure on ourselves at times. But uh, um, looking forward to this week, obviously. You know, we're uh, you know, obviously uh, the eye has always been on you know, getting through and getting to the semis. So uh, we're here now, and that's uh, that's the biggest thing we need to concentrate on. Obviously, some anxious moments here. Oh, there was, yeah. They aged me a bit. Uh, but, uh, oh, look, we, as I said to the, the players, uh, we've got through now. Um, yeah, we'll get a fair bit out of that. You know, it wasn't probably the style of what we'd like to have played, but um, I was pleased that they stuck to the plan, and that's what got them through. Um, you know, I've said many times throughout the last couple of weeks how tight they are, and I think that's what really brought them through. Uh, they had to dig in. You know, Fiji came came at us and they put pressure on and we probably pushed a few passes that we wouldn't normally put uh, push and then um, yeah they put a bit of pressure on. Uh, how much better you expect them to be that quick that, that, that start? Um, yeah it was uh, we knew that they were going to come out and play um, but they definitely um, started quick and we sort of lost a few stuff there um, in the tackles and that um, but we sort of expected it to be like that but we just for us we needed to be better in the start um, and that's what something we'll work on. Nudge, how much better we have to be this week? Uh, I'll tell you next week, really. You know, it's a, you know, we need to be better than uh, in areas of our game. You, know, you can obviously see that. Uh, I think at the start, obviously, um, you know, they jumped a little bit at the start and we put a bit of pressure on ourselves. And uh, yeah, you can't do that to obviously the, the teams that we're playing. Joey, how much did the conditions, um, were they a factor? Uh, nah, they were enough. I don't really think about it myself. I'm not too sure about other boys, but um, it's going to be like that over here, especially in the next few weeks. Uh, so we can't really control that. It's just controlling our footy and um, the, the style that we want to play um, in this Kiwis jersey. Uh, so, yeah, there's a few things there that we want to work on. Um, but, yeah, we'll be ready for next week. What were you guys saying when you were obviously behind on the scoreboard and time was getting away? Um, yeah, we, we, we were pretty composed, I think, especially with Jerome days. Uh, Good lead on the spine, and uh, we just want to get through our process, not think about the the score or the outcome. Um, just get back in the grind and uh, keep kicking that back to them. Um, I thought we controlled that pretty well, um, and we ended up coming over on top of them. So you know a few of those blokes well, James Tedesco and Troy Mitchell. What are your thoughts on going up against them? Yeah, I'm excited. Um, these are the games you look forward to as a player, uh, playing against some of the best. Um, <coughs> Excited to play some of them, but I'm excited to see what we can do as a team. Um, yeah, we're focused on ourselves. Um, we'll be ready. Um, but yeah, there's a few things that we want to work on. Um, but yeah, we'll be more focused on ourselves. Man, that left side of the Australian team, Latrell, Alan Carlson, Terry Teams apart. Joey's obviously been outstanding at full game. Would you give me thought to moving him back to the centres to strengthen that, that side of the field? No, not at all. Uh, Joey's doing a great job for us out the back. Well, yeah, you know, what he did tonight, um, you know, got us out of trouble quite a bit there. So, uh, you know, we'll leave him there, but uh, we'll be right. We'll just get our forwards up and going and make sure that they do their role as well as they can, and you know, that'll help out that edge. Nice. How, how much did you seeing Jared tonight play a factor in? Oh, when you've got players like that, you know, of that quality sitting on the sideline, it, it does play a part. Um, Jared's been very strong in the background, though, with just getting around the players, but. Yeah, you know, it's all about you know getting your, your most experienced players out there as well. So, but uh, we'll be right. We've got a few of them coming back this week. Does Jared definitely come with you? Uh, he's. We'll see how he's travelling through the week. Yeah, we'll have to see it. See from that one. About Moses. Yeah, yeah, he's ready to go too. Yeah. That's huge. We've pretty well got a full complement coming back next week. I've just got to check on Jared. Michael, can you sort of quantify or describe <coughs> the amount of improvement that is necessary in the next week? Uh, we'll improve. I mean, one thing about the group, they're pretty strong on on how they want to go about things and they had a good discussion just then about uh, you know, what we did tonight and uh, we'll take that into this week. You know, there's areas of our game which you know, we, we can't give away cheap cheap loose ball or errors or penalties. You know, I thought in the, the start of the game we gave away a couple of penalties there and the pressure came on and you know, we just didn't handle that as well as what um, we have in the past, which you know, they're good lessons for us leading into next week. I yeah, um, James is obviously a great player. I've played with him for a few years now, and um, he's got that full back position at the Roosters. So, um, 
yeah, whenever I tend to slide in there, he tends to help me out a bit and he's someone I love to learn learn from. Um, but yeah, it'll be a bit different. Uh, he'll be on the opposite side next week and um, he's a good mate, but um, yeah, I want to do what's best um, for our team and yeah, I'll, I'll be um, competing against him on Friday night. How much what you do as a fullback is down to what you can learn from training with him, playing on this side? Yeah, I think there's a few things. Uh, I mean, he's, he's taught me a lot there, and then also um, Robbo. Um, but I mean, some of the stuff I, I tend to play in different positions and I play my own style. So, um, yeah, definitely helped me out though. He's definitely helped me out a lot. Joey, do you think James Tedesco is the best player in the world right now? Um, yeah, <laughs> I think he's pretty good, and he's, um, he's he has been for a while. So, Madge, can you just uh, elaborate a little on um, what Jared's role has been behind the scenes? You said that he's you know. Yeah, he's, well, he's been the leader. He's been in positions like this, you know, in big games. So, sharing those stories with players, um, you know, rallying the troops together to, you know, build a bond that uh, the Kiwi jersey is all about. You know, he's had a fair bit, of, fair bit of experience at this level. So, you know, sharing it with some of the younger guys that have come in uh, has been very valuable to us. Mm. Did you said the next <coughs> You said at the start of the tournament you thought he could be the best fullback in this competition. Four weeks in, how joking is Chadwick? He's going good. He's going really well. He's, uh, uh, yeah, he did a great job for us tonight. He's been you know, performing, and I think you know Joey's learning a little bit about the players around him too. You know, there's times there where you know Joey's such a good support player through the middle, uh, and being able to get out to an edge and uh, be a part of that sort of play as well is something there that they've been growing. And you know it's sort of probably the third game that we've had our spine all together. So. Uh, yeah, we'll be better again on the back of that. Did, did Jesse pick up an injury? And also no, Jerome's he's fine. Clutch is, no, they're, all, well, they're all good. Yep. Are they both okay? They're fine. Joey, how did you rate your performance today compared to your previous match? <laughs> it was good. <laughs> 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 no, it was alright. There were a few things I want to work on as a player, but I'm just focused on the team. Um, so yeah, I'm not too worried about individual performances. What was going through your head during that captain's challenge? <laughs> Just hoping that came off. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> not too sure. I sort of felt a strip, but uh, there was only a little bit of time left, I think, and why not have the shot? So ended up um, working in our favour, and yeah, it really helped. Was it you pushing the case to, to go for the challenge, or were you? Yeah, I was <laughs> screaming because <laughs> I didn't want to be a knock on. <laughs> <laughs> You said you were excited about um, playing Australia next week. But why? It's, I suppose it's the opportunity to prove that you are the number one team. Yeah, it's probably that. Just a good team. Um, two good teams going at it. You know, two good countries, obviously, been playing for a long time now. So um, I think it's just that. A lot of good players. Uh, so we want to test ourselves against the best. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go next week. I think it's the first World Cup since 2000 that Fiji aren't going to be in the semi, so they've had a good run and they're a, they're a good country and a good team, haven't they? And clearly, they gave you more than a fright tonight. Yeah, they have. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, a lot was talked about this week from uh, the last World Cup, so you know, all those sorts of things can play on people's minds. And um, yeah, they came out and they performed. You know, they showed a lot of passion and uh, they put a lot of pressure on us. So uh, you know, full credit to you know where Fiji are going with their uh, rugby league, actually. You know, I spoke to their coaches about, you know, they're a young crew and no doubt they're going to uh, get a lot out of playing against teams like New Zealand and, um, yeah, so they're one to watch. Joey, Nathan Cleary and Dan Zubek in this game as the underdogs this week. You guys are world number one. What do you what do you think about that? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I just, yeah, I, I know where we sit as a team and um, that's all I need to worry about. I'm not worried about rankings or who's better team. I believe in um, this team that we got here, so I'm focused on um, us being um, good in the Kiwis jersey. Michael, everyone's been talking about how much you guys need to improve to beat Australia, but do you think, conversely, sort of having this close match will, will benefit you in that game? Oh, we'll get a fair bit out of you know, being able to look back at that performance, but uh, yeah, it's up to us how we deal with that. Um, you know, we've said many times, they're a pretty tight group, and they'll go through that. And you know, I've got a lot of players that. <coughs> 
especially in my squad that have played in sort of semis and grand finals. So, you know, the step up in game, that's what it's about and that's what they want to play in. So, you know, they'll be looking forward to playing this week. How important was it to right the wrongs of five years ago? Uh, well, I wasn't really a part of that, so um, you know, we're, we're in the semi now. That's the main thing, and that's what we've spoken about, that you know, we've got a shot at going through to the big game. So you know, we've, we'll put our heads down and have a really good week together like we have been and uh, get our performance that we're after. Would you have liked to have played Australia in the final? Because I know a lot of fans, that's the final a lot of fans would have wanted. Oh, look. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me who we play to get to the final. That's the that's all part of you know what a tournament's all about. So look for us, we're we're playing Australia next week.